Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Callista, the Spear of Vengeance. We will not be at the mercy of those who hide behind magic. Only a shadow of her former self, Callista relentlessly hunts traitors and oath breakers across Runeterra, collecting their souls and growing her strength. Callista is a uniquely mobile and cooperative marksman who excels when working in concert with her soulbound ally. Callista begins every game with the Black Spear. This item serves only one purpose to establish a link between Callista and an allied champion, usually her lane partner. When Callista casts the Black Spear on her chosen ally, the pair are soulbound for the rest of the game. Having a soulbound is like having a soulmate, but for killing things. The Link grants unique passive and active abilities only available to the pair. Callista's passive is Martial Poise, and it has two important parts. First, Callista cannot cancel her basic attacks. Once she's winding up that spear, there's no going back. Second, entering a move order during Callista's basic attack windup makes her hop in that direction after the attack is complete. Martial Poise will probably take some getting used to, especially as Callista builds attack speed, but it gives her incredible mobility in combat. Note that if Callista leaps backward, she gains a bit of extra distance. Martial Poise's hop distance scales with your Boots rank. For example, Boots' speed and Berserker's Greaves each increase the range. Outside of combat, Callista's movement is limited, but Martial Poise makes her really slippery in a fight. Constantly using the short hops lets her kite bruisers while consistently dealing damage. Callista's abilities and their interactions are best explained out of order. Let's start with Rend, her E. Rend passively causes Callista's basic attacks to lodge spears inside her targets. These spears can stack infinitely on as many targets as she wants, but will fall off any target Callista hasn't attacked for a few seconds. On activation, Callista rips the spears away, slowing and dealing damage to all nearby rended enemies. The damage is increased for every rend spear lodged in the target, meaning you can hypothetically deal infinite tons of damage. If any foe, even a minion, is killed by the activation, the cooldown is immediately refreshed. But if no target is killed, the ability goes on cooldown and rend's passive is disabled until it comes back up. Rend has a considerably low mana cost, making it an efficient tool for last hitting and shoving lanes at all phases of the game. Callista's W, Sentinel, has a passive and an active. The passive only works with Callista's soulbound partner in crime. If the pair attack the same target within a very brief window, they deal bonus damage based on the target's max health and apply a stack of Rend. Sentinel cannot be triggered on the same target for several seconds. If Sentinel deals the killing blow, Callista gets the credit in gold, regardless of who triggered it. The active part of the ability operates on an ammo system with a substantial cooldown. Callista sends a Sentinel on a scouting mission. Sentinels patrol back and forth between Callista's initial cast location and the targeted area a few times before expiring. Sentinels only grant vision in a cone in front of them. When they spot an enemy champion, Sentinels shriek and follow them for a brief period. However, enemies can destroy Sentinels with basic attacks and can sneak up behind them to do so undetected. Cardboard boxes work too. Send Sentinels to patrol common gank paths while you're laning. They'll give you a heads up when they spot baddies. Callista's Q, Pierce, fires a spear that deals damage, applies rend, applies her trigger Sentinel, and stops on the first target struck. Additionally, Pierce triggers Martial Poise so she can dash right after casting. If Pierce kills an enemy that has active Rend stacks, Pierce pierces through that enemy, adding all those stacks to the next target struck. Pierce enhances Callista's mobility because it can trigger Martial Poise outside of combat, allowing her to leap over walls. Here's some examples of walls you can hop over. Callista's ultimate is Fate's Call, and is only castable when the soulbound pair are near enough for the tether to be visible. When cast, Fate's Call pulls Callista's soulbound to her, and makes that ally untargetable and pacified for a short time. The next part of the ult is controlled by the soulbound ally. 
After a moment, the Soulbound could right-click to launch themselves in any direction, causing an AoE knockup on impact before rebounding slightly. Basically, Callista says when, and her Soulbound ally says where. Ranged champions casting the second half of Fate's Call rebound slightly farther away than melee ones. If the ally doesn't cast the ability after a few seconds, keep in mind they will automatically rocket forward in the direction Callista's facing. Callista's the rare marksman that can dictate engages. A max range Fate's Call gets fights started in a hurry. Use it in tandem with your Soulbound to initiate or make a pick. Teamwork! Moving backward or forward, Callista's spears always find their target. Collect the souls of your enemies with these elite maneuvers. Spear stepping is the essential Callista combo. Basic attack and pierce as often as possible, hopping in the intended direction after each attack. If you're retreating, save rend for when your opponent is about to reach you. If you're chasing, instead hang on to it for maximum damage, using it as an execute. Because Ren's cooldown resets on minion kills, try to get a stack on a minion as well as an enemy champion. Popping Ren to kill the minion and get the reset. Continue attacking the enemy champion and pop Ren again before piecing out. This way you get twice the slow and even more damage. When searching out a vulnerable enemy, send a sentinel ahead. If it sniffs out a baddie, use pierce and martial poise to hop forward slowing your foe with Ren to get into basic attack range. If your Soulbound's nearby, give them a Fate's Call to let them launch ahead, so you can sink the killing blow together. Martial Poise helps Callista float like a butterfly and sting like a spirit hellbent on vengeance. Try to hop after every basic attack, even in lane. This allows you to dodge skill shots and get aggressive with your own abilities. Callista's level 6 power spike is huge both for herself and her Soulbound, especially when combined with other all-in friendly ults like Morgana's. Here, Sentinel catches Caitlyn out of position, and Callista does two things. First, she activates Fate's Call to get Morgana into the fray, then demoralizes Sona by dodging Crescendo with Martial Poise. Morgana follows up, crushing the fight with the second half of Fate's Call and Soul Shackles, allowing the Soulbound lane to pick up a 2-0. Fate's Call has utility beyond engages. If your soul bound is about to give up the ghost, pull them to safety with Callista's ultimate. That's for all those lanterns, Thresh. Shadow Owls for life! <laughs> <laughs> Callista must trust her soul bound ally to make tactical decisions with Fate's Call. Here, she initiates the ult to yank Brom out of Jono's tornado, giving him the chance to make a play. Brom's got a real choice here go aggro and rock Lucian and Janna, or play it safe and ensure the enemy Darius can't get to Callista. Braum makes the right play, splitting the enemy team and allowing his other allies to handle Darius. The teamwork pays off, allowing Callista's team a clean 4-0 fight. Callista's hops allow her to be extremely opportunistic as well as stay in range for consistent basic attacks, giving her kills on both Gangplank and Vagar. Callista waits for minions so she can tower dive when they arrive. Spotting Caitlyn out of position, Callista takes her down immediately, using martial poise to leave turret range right after the kill. While attacking Evelyn, Callista simultaneously leaves turret range, Evelyn's range, and cuts off the retreat path to ensure a safe and clean quadra kill. Thanks for tuning in to the Callista Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video. You will be taken.